I got pressed live and he. Oh, let's go back. One, two, three. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Carnival Cruising Podcast Ways, the podcast where we talk about anything and everything Carnival Cruising related. My name's Trevor Shelby, and joining me on this cruising adventure are my good friends, Thomas, Kennedy, and Reese Scripture. Yeah! Woo! Woo! Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, got, I have control of the buttons now. There, there, there's no, I can't get the chair. Dad coming. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like the little one. <laughs> well, it's it's got a hole. Oh, thank you, thank you. Wow. Yeah. See, when you got the power, you like. Yeah. It. Yeah. See, I no <laughs> yeah, longer. Yeah, because he always boos me. Yeah. Well, it, I uh, name one time I've booed you. I can. Well, I can't name it right now. No. Well, I, I was gonna thought you were gonna say like every time. <laughs> <laughs> and I was going to say name another time. Well, thank you everyone for joining us on today's show. This is a exciting one. We got so... Uh, wait a minute. There's somebody else trying to join the show. What? Just like last week. Really? What's, what's going on here? They're just sitting Yeah, they're, they're, they're trying to join. These interlopers. <laughs> oh, it know, looks but, like... Yeah. We have another guest today, and uh oh, bring, bring! My phone is ringing. <laughs> oh, oh no, Trevor! Oh. What's going oh, on? Oh no! Man? There's a crisis at the plant. Uh, yeah, I forgot to tell everybody. Really? Who's gonna help? Who's I, gonna help correct that crisis? I've got, I'll take care of it. <laughs> I forgot, you guys. I can't see. Uh, I'll take care of it. <laughs> they can't see. Uh, yeah, you, they so can't see me either. Me? So I, I removed my glasses because I'm superhero. Um, <laughs> Oh no! I, I'm a toilet plunger uh, safety inspector. Repairman? No. <laughs> and um, there was a there's a uh, there's a crisis at the plant. <laughs> uh, you guys handle this guest until I get back. <laughs> Just leave already. We got you. We got you. We'll take care of this guy. Oh, that was terrible. <laughs> that was. All right. I want everybody to welcome to the show Jairo Odiber. Uh, I think that's the best I can do on his last name, I'm sure. Uh, but uh, welcome to the show, man. We really appreciate you coming out. Uh, we got a lot of questions for you, and, and I, I hope you enjoy this as much as we do. Good evening. Uh, thank you so much for inviting me, and uh, it's a pleasure to be here with you guys. Oh, you're Heck yeah. Welcome. Thanks for talking with us. Uh, well, first off... <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit about yourself, like how you got into? Uh, you're a YouTuber, and a travel YouTuber. Uh, and can can you like uh, tell us a little bit about your page and you know what they can expect on your page and how long you've had it? So, I I actually, if I go back, um, I actually have been a, a travel consultant um, just about uh, even as a kid. Uh, I went on uh, tours and things like that with my father. So. Uh, we own a travel, a small travel agency here on the island, and it's been in existence for for decades and decades. Awesome. And uh, yeah, from there, uh, I started um, taking some of the tours that we had abroad. So, like to to the Disney parks, for example, to Las Vegas and places like that. And then um, many times people start recognizing you before even before um, YouTube. And they start saying to me, like, why not start a YouTube channel where they can see uh, where I go, like the travels that I did back then. So I'm talking about um, over, the, over the years. Mm -hmm. And I did have some experience uh, with um, camera and things like that, with video. I've messed around a little bit about uh, with it in the past. But nothing too serious uh, to be doing YouTube. Uh, and then taking photos and videos usually it's not from yourself because that mm -hmm. was probably the what took the longest and now I kind of even regret it I, I, I think I should have started <laughs> even earlier because I, I could have shown a whole lot more in the meantime mm -hmm. and now travel um, content has grown so much over the last couple of years 
that um, yeah so from there <laughs> that step took probably a couple of years and one day I just said I'm gonna go for it whatever happens um, I'll probably just have some memories the worst case scenario uh-huh. just memory uh, videos because oftentimes you go on a vacation you're not you're filming you're doing a lot of things you don't do anything with it <laughs> mm-hmm. thought, mm-hmm. <laughs> let me start by doing that and yeah you turn the camera around it's pretty weird in the beginning Okay. But with that, Ta- talking, uh, and uh, I find it hard to talk uh, to yeah. a camera in public because I'm afraid of yeah. people looking. Yeah, everywhere. definitely, definitely. <laughs> that was uh, that was the toughest, especially in the beginning. Like right now, I don't feel it as much uh, unless they really start staring literally in front of me. But mm-hmm. now I don't. It doesn't bother me anymore. And uh, yeah, but it's been a, a fun, fun ride. That's for sure. Heck yeah! Uh, for our listeners, uh, his channel is Let's Go with Hyro. Amazing show. Uh, but I, I've watched a bunch of them. I love all of them that I've seen. Uh, it's some really good stuff. Actually, I have a YouTube channel too. Uh, it's a Okie Kid Adventure. I do a lot of metal detecting, weird treasure hunting type stuff. And uh, I'm, I'm wondering if one of these days I can come to Aruba and we can we can uh, co-op on a, a video together, if you'd be interested in that. I would definitely. I haven't seen folks doing it lately, but in the past, I remember a lot of folks came here to do that. So mm-hmm. that, that could really? be an interesting topic. And I do get an, uh, questions about it sometimes. Um, but yeah, that, that could be an interesting one. Yeah. Well, I tell you what, if you're there in May around 2021, 20, all that, I'm, I'll be metal detecting because uh, we're going there on our cruise. Yeah, we'll be there May 23rd on the Carnival Celebration. Oh, 23rd. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I, I do yeah. believe I will be here. Yes. Oh, that'd be awesome, man. Yeah. If you're there, we're yeah. going to try and hit you up. <laughs> all right. You have some amazing videos. I've, I've seen about, you know, uh, a good dozen of them and the one i watched yesterday actually kind of made me upset because i'm not there eating what you ate because it was that it was that video of food and look i mean i'm a fat guy you know and i'm looking at this food and i'm like that looks amazing is it how far is this from the cruise port <laughs> but which one uh maybe do you do you still remember which one it was the one with the the cucumber stew that you ate at oh yeah that's good that is really yeah. good that looked and really, that's, with that's, the pumpkin and stuff yeah I that's, saw that that's one. kind okay. of <laughs> one of my hidden gems i i have featured it indeed on, on, on the video but a lot of folks somehow cannot find it others have and when we revisit those places many times they're like you don't know how much of a difference your video has made uh, for their business and while they were doing probably good with the locals but they weren't getting any tourists and uh yeah it's 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 one of those really typical places that you definitely should uh, should try to make the effort to go to eat there yeah but like how Thank far you. is that from that place from the cruise port is it a good I mean, is it a walking distance or do we uh, have to have a car i mean it's not impossible to walk it but i would not recommend it uh mm-hmm. and then in a taxi probably like I mean, at max, like 10 minutes, probably in a taxi, probably five, but yeah, something like that. So it's not too far. I didn't think it would be because uh, I watched the video on you guys talking about how big the island is. That the place is way smaller than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That, that is, that is pretty interesting that you mentioned that because, uh, local folks, especially they, they tell me like, um, how do I keep finding, um, um, like topics to talk about, mm-hmm. and uh, yeah, that that's that's something that um, you brainstorm uh, just about every day. Uh, what new topic you can bring up? Heck yeah, yeah. Um, one of the things I wanted to ask you about uh, was kind of a uh, tourist eating or tur- tourist cuisine versus um, like an authentic experience, like getting to know somebody and actually going and trying more authentic cuisine. Um, do you, do you think that both the uh, experiences are about equal for a person or would it be more advantageous or, or better for a person to actually try and get some, to know somebody to try something a little bit more authentic? I, I think it's better to get someone to, to take you to places like that. Uh, and uh, with food, I always 
I'm tr I try to be as careful as, as possible because food is, you know, our taste buds are so different. I could find something really delicious and the next person would think it's horrible. Mm -hmm. uh, but um, to know those, those specific places, yeah, if you know a local or if you take like a food tour, uh, that would be like one of those things. I, I offer that service also. Um, mm -hmm. I, uh, that's one of those things that, um, yeah. Uh, and, and some of those things that you get here, depending on where you're coming from, let's say in the world then, um, you would not think that on a, such a small island we can have such a variety of um, different cuisines here mm -hmm. and things to try. Well, I mean, even your language, isn't it like a mixture of like German, Spanish, uh, a bunch of other stuff, I think? <laughs> it's, uh, so it's, it's called Papiamento, and mm -hmm. uh, it would probably sound to the folks not knowing much, but having an idea probably sounds a little bit more like Portuguese, mm -hmm. but the reality is that it's more, it's closer to, to Spanish, actually. Mm -hmm. And and then it does have um, English words. It has a lot of Dutch words because of the our, um, our the island being a Dutch uh, part of the Dutch kingdom, mm -hmm. and uh, also uh, the native language that was spoken here. So the Arawak Indians, as, among others, uh, we do suspect that uh, many of the words do come from that language. Mm -hmm. And uh, am I missing anyone? No. So we, we, <laughs> most of the the local so if you grow up here you usually speak four languages um, mm -hmm. so the papiamento for sure and then Dutch at school English because of the tourism etc just TV and stuff and then Spanish a lot of um, Latin influence here a lot of Latinos also living here and that's one of the big reasons but you do also get the Spanish at school and then some will also learn uh, some French at school and uh, etc German is uh, we could we could understand it a little bit yeah we could get away I, with I, it a I, bit. I think I was thinking of Dutch but yeah <laughs> yeah yeah uh, so you you said that you guys were were, uh, were were a Dutch under Dutch rule are you guys still under Dutch rule or is it is that just part of your history so yeah no we are still um, it is uh, so we call it the Dutch kingdom and and then so you have Holland and uh, mm -hmm. let's say about 10 years ago, it, the, the kingdom split uh, into, let's see if I get it right. So you have Holland, and then you have us, Aruba, you have Curaçao, and you have St. Martin, which is also Dutch, uh, half of the island at least. And then you have the island of Bonaire, Seba, and Stasia are kind of like together, but then part of the, um, part of the Netherlands. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So cool. we're going to two different Dutch Kingdom islands and then one Netherlands island. Okay. Yeah. So if you go to Bonaire officially, you're going mm -hmm. to the Netherlands nowadays. Yeah. We're, we're we're going. The cruise that we're going on is Aruba, Bonaire, and Curacao. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. So the, the the way we used to be. So it's six islands in the Caribbean, as I mentioned, and we used to be the Netherlands Antilles. Until the 1986, we became uh, the Netherlands, Aruba, and the Netherlands Antilles. So we kind of split from the Netherlands Antilles. And I, I do believe in 2010 that changed uh, to the way I, I just mentioned previously. Awesome. Man, I think this is the most education that our listeners have ever gained off of our show. Um, <laughs> we are taming our show way down for you uh, out of, out of respect for such a, a great man. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, but um, you were talking about how uh, the the restaurant you 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 liked it was a hidden gem. I was wondering if you can kind of give us any other hidden gems in the way of like uh, cool places to go, cool beaches, or, or a really cool uh, like snorkeling spot. Uh, probably so a snorkeling spot. I would say. The Mangal Halto Beach is probably um, one of those places that while you, it does get mentioned, a lot of folks are not very familiar with it. And it's also a very, like, it's, it's different than most of the other beaches. So if you go to Eagle Beach and Palm Beach, you actually see sand and 
you know where to get in the water and it's mm -hmm. pretty basic here it's a lot of mangroves and then you see some Ooh. some deep areas and then you see some very shallow areas and you don't really know where you should really get into the water um, exactly so you, you would definitely want a guide on that one <laughs> yeah yeah uh, <laughs> definitely and uh, I would not recommend swimming or snorkeling there uh, too far from the coast because it does have some quite um, strong currents. Um, but a lot of scuba diving uh, tours are also mm -hmm. uh, done there, kayak tours, etc. So, so and and it's just beautiful. It's, it, the colors there. I usually like. I stop there just to show people the colors of the water. It's just amazing. That's it's, awesome. It's really one of the most beautiful colors. Uh, there is okay i guess we should uh introduce you to the late arrival here trevor welcome yeah. back trevor. thank you yeah. thank you there <laughs> trevor finally decided to kind of to, to to come into to the show yes. um, <laughs> he, he 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 disguises it as he worked late yeah. which you know mm. sorry <laughs> i tried <laughs> well um so one of the things that 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 I like about you know about your 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 channel itself is the fact that you're a conservationist, um, and it seems like a lot of people on the island are, except for you know a, a few you know of the uh, of the tour operators. Um, but what got you into? What were the the major changes that you've seen so far to to be more conscientious about the environment on the island? Ah, that's that's such um, you know, even though we're a small island, but that's such a broad um, topic uh, because it's like an ongoing topic as well, and uh, and it's because it's a small island, you got to take even better care than say you have a large country you can like mess up somewhere and be mm -hmm. good so here you mess up somewhere it's bad everywhere for us all um but i just um i, I sometimes when i'm filming around i have like different ways of maybe seeing things and i try to bring it in my videos and explaining why uh, maybe i think differently or maybe what i think is good but the education I really feel like we should be doing a little bit more at the schools and even at the uh, kindergarten and start explaining mm -hmm. to the kids a little bit more, a little bit better, have a better program to, to make them understand by the time they're, they're a teenager or so that, hey, this, we got to take better care of everything. Um, as far as let's say the UTV and, and ATV uh, tours uh, I've always said it, that I do understand the business part of it mm -hmm. and I understand that you know people you know they 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 um, I say they support their families with with that work etc and I think we should try to instead of stopping it maybe because i understand why it's so attractive for so many people like when when we drive around here you will see like groups of 10 or 20 of them uh, driving after one at one another and but if i sit down and really think about it yeah it's doing a lot of damage and it's not just damage to the nature but it's also a little bit psychological because i've shown folks that um, live along the route for example of such tours and can you imagine every day like, Ooh, like yeah. I don't know like two or three hundred of those vehicles passing by your house every so often like rah, making the noises and driving a little bit like crazy and things like that maybe we should like zone it out a little bit more and, mm -hmm. and in um, recently like uh, was it a year ago or two the national park stopped uh, those vehicles and uh, so you could not go inside the national park anymore with them so you have to stop and take another uh, like another tour but i think i think we still have ways to to improve uh, i thought that the plastic bags that we banned a couple of years ago like five six years ago that made uh, definitely uh, an impact um, that's good 
and uh, I hear a lot and, and, and that's something that also uh, bothers me a little bit is about the, the stray dogs. Um, well, there are laws here, but I really believe that we should be doing a whole lot more uh, on that regard. And I love my island. Uh, I try to promote it, but I also think that uh, I have the commitment um, to myself to everyone to when there's something not good you have to just say it and mm -hmm. there'll be some criticism when you do but I think we, we could do better I, I really do and uh, I still feel like we're doing better every time it's, it's just going too slow I wish mm -hmm. we could go a little bit faster like we banned the straws the plastic straws and things like that I think that's that was also very very good and I think even the politicians agree with it uh, you know they never agree with anything and then when they do have a law like this they do mm -hmm. agree with it um so yeah it's a very i can go on and on on that subject um yeah now you guys do have it's you, you guys keeps uh, keeps coming up in the news for example right yeah. you, you guys do have uh, a horse trails and, and horse riding yeah. uh tours and stuff there too right correct um and uh, who who could they get in touch with to, to do those if they wanted to do that? Oh, I had a contact. Uh, <laughs> I didn't mean to put you on the spot, but I'm <laughs> sorry. Maybe I should have okay. given you that question ahead of time. <laughs> but um, I I personally uh, really liked. Um, wow, I would have to check the name, but it's it's the the trail is not too far from Palm Beach. And uh, let me see if I can pull it up somewhere on my phone as we are talking. But okay. the, um, I underestimated uh, when I did that one, and I'm so bad at riding horses. <laughs> just, like, so bad. And that day that I went, uh, it was actually with some, some vloggers, um, uh, Top Flight family from New mm -hmm. York. Mm -hmm. And so they insisted that I, I go and uh, try to make some drone shots. And I said, no, I'm, I'm going with my car and I'm filming you guys. And they were like, no, but can't you go with us? We will. Oh. And I'm like, I'm flying a drone while on a horse, which I'm not very comfortable. <laughs> yeah, they even said something about you doing that. They're like, it was impressive. He did it on the horse. Yeah. <laughs> so I said, well, let's try it anyway. And I can tell you the the folks at that ranch just made me feel so comfortable on that horse, so safe, and the trail was so beautiful at the end that right now I actually go back and hike that trail oh, sometimes. Cool. <laughs> Heck yeah. Uh, yeah, it's very, very nice. Let me try to get the name in the meantime. Yeah, uh, real quick, Trevor, um, we have asked about food. Oh, good. Uh, a little you were you came in for the the hidden gems of things to do obviously your favorite uh, snorkeling um, <laughs> you mean obviously we, yeah, we just <laughs> yeah, yeah for yeah. you yeah. <laughs> a little bit of history about his his YouTube channel okay. and uh, a little bit of history about the island itself Good yeah oh yeah oh yeah we got yeah. lots of, like I think yeah. a lot of history and it was it was really interesting stuff what well I I, I would like to say is um what I really do enjoy about your channel is that if I were going to Aruba, I could watch your channel and it's like you give these updates that are like real recent, uh, like the one where you went to the embassy suites. Um, I think it's your most recent video and you kind of give like a, this is what it looks like in the moment right now. So if I were going in like the next week, I would kind of have an idea of what that would look know what like. what to expect. Um, and also, um, I'd watched uh, where you, you took a hike. Um, was it, is it a Casabari? Is that how you say it? Casabari. Yeah. Yeah. And the rock. From yeah. Rich. The rock. Yeah. It, yeah. Yeah. It like, I, I'm just now getting into hiking and I was like, man, that's, yeah that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. <laughs> so that's mm -hmm. like that's yeah. in my head. I'm like, I already got all these plans and it all came from your YouTube channel, which was wonderful. Yeah. I have more information from your YouTube channel than I've gotten in most places. So. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah. So the embassy suites is just uh, open recently and uh, I think it's not even open, open officially. Yeah. So 
I just thought, um, let me uh, go do an, an update. And, and that's what people also like. Like, even if I've, I did a walk already, like, three or six months ago, but if I see some changes along the mm-hmm. way, it's worth doing the walk again and maybe um, doing the update. And folks really appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I have gotten the name of the ranch. It's the Ranch Notorious. That's the, the name Ranch of the ranch. Notorious. Okay. I like that name. <laughs> <laughs> would, would you be willing to send that to, to, to Reese in a text message? That way we can put it in the description? Sure. Sure. Thank you, man. Awesome. No problem. So uh, before you came on our show, did, did you did you uh, take a chance to listen to any of our episodes, or are you just going to go in this uh <laughs> fully unaware of what you got yourself into <laughs> uh, i actually haven't uh i did search it originally when we started talking mm-hmm. but i've been so up and down with things uh we've been um um remodeling the the house not the remodeling the refurbishing the house and mm-hmm. uh i was traveling and then we got back and work has also got me like my normal work mm-hmm. not my youtube work <laughs> then, indeed, indeed. so um no i haven't had a lot of time even to to film too much and i almost broke up <laughs> like a well, I told the other day, so <laughs> that, I'm, I'm not even Ow. walking all that good. <laughs> so oh, but that's well, uh, just that's know that that our, our our show when we're not interviewing people is a lot different than when we are interviewing people. Yes. we kind of take the interviewing process kind of serious, but the show itself, <laughs> if you if you listen to the show without anyone. It, it is different. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just forewarning. <laughs> it's. I wouldn't let your kids listen to it. <laughs> I, I tell my mom not to listen to yeah. it, so you know. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> right. They're only listeners, but you know. <laughs> but, but but somehow we've grown a following that that we weren't expecting. We call them the so cult. Now we got to keep. Yeah. Got to keep up appearances, I guess. Although. <laughs> But, uh, yeah. Go ahead, bud. Some folks that uh, meet me in person, they, they say, oh, I, I look a lot more serious on, on camera <laughs> because in person I'm a little bit uh, sarcastic. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that, that's us. Yes, yeah. Yeah. absolutely. Yeah. So and back on the, the subject of food, where is the best place to eat, like, within walking distance of the cruise port? Do, do you in your opinion, anything? of course. Do you in have anything opinion. specific, let's say, that you want to eat or anything? Something, something really authentic Arubian food. There is um, a place just in front of the, the the cruise port gate. You just cross the street and it's it's in front there. Uh, right now they have a lot of local um, dishes there. They used to only have the, the restaurants, but now there are a lot of smaller I wouldn't call them shacks because it's like inside and such, but uh, right in front of the, there, there's, there'll be some, um, uh, is it the Trupial bird, I think? It's, it's, it's like some bright bird colors painted on the, on the building. And uh, that, that would be a good place to start, of Thank course. You. Yeah. And you know, yeah. The, 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 those little pies that you looking things, that they look like empanadas almost. They, yeah, the, those are yeah. those are everywhere, right? Yeah. those are like everywhere. Yeah, yeah, pretty much everywhere. Uh, we do have um, uh, so our local empanada is called pastichi. It's a little bit different. Pastichi, Empan- that's right. Yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah, and empanada is a little bit harder. It's a little bit more um, like it's not the local. It's more the Latinos uh, mm-hmm. have that mostly. And then you have the arepa. I don't know if you tried those ones. Mm-hmm. Arepa. Nope. Those are good also. Those are the like the round ones, and they come with either cheese or anything you can think of, kind of. <laughs> They're really good. And uh, uh, one restaurant I do like to recommend, it's a little bit further walking, but certainly walkable, is the, the West Deck. It's also mm-hmm. just, you just take the, the shore, you just walk to the right after uh, getting uh, outside the gate. And, um, yeah, they have some, some good food there also. Heck yeah. 
That's awesome. Yeah, I, uh, I've definitely had lots of empanadas, so I, I, I'm a f- bit of a foodie. I, I like to try anything at least once. I mean, if I don't like it, I might not do it again, but at least once. <laughs> That's me also. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But worth, worth noting just briefly is that since you're coming on a cruise, uh, I don't know your, your the time it's leaving, but many of the best restaurants are actually open after 5 or 6 p.m., so you're kind of like maybe missing some of them. Okay. Unfortunately, that, yeah, that's kind of. The, yeah. We're, we're we're there from eight a.m. to ten p.m. But we, me, it's my birthday. We're having a dinner on the ship, and I didn't think about that <laughs> <laughs> when I made the reservation. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to take another trip back to Aruba, and it's Thomas's fault. Yeah, <laughs> he can pay yeah. for it. So, uh, I I do have one more question. Uh, me personally. Uh, uh, what is uh, things to look out for uh, as far as a tourist goes, like uh, things to be concerned about or worried about or, or uh, 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 pre- precautions that one should take while uh, traveling in Aruba? Uh, I do have a video. Uh, we probably took a look at it at some point. Um, that's the video that's done the best of all my videos because <laughs> people are, you know, they. it's, it's a good question. Um, but... I mean, for a cruise visit, what could I say? Like, if if you're not renting a car, like, it's it's just basically the... Don't let your guard down uh, everywhere. Uh, Aruba is, uh, of course, very safe, but don't leave, like, your phone in a car unlocked or just even locked. I mean, don't tempt Mm -hmm. them to do something weird. (laughs) Um, Right. And then, um, I mean, like... Yeah, small things like uh, if if you're gonna go swim somewhere, you know, be, you know, just take a look where people are swimming. Don't go swimming where nobody's swimming. Probably there's a current you don't know about it. Right. And yeah, those are things. Those are life-threatening dangers, also. So, uh, I mean, yeah, yeah. and, and basic have, things. Yeah. <laughs> some folks have passed away. the 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 reason I made that video when I did. Mm-hmm. was that uh, I do believe on two separate tours uh, folks got into the water at the north side of the island and you've probably seen something about it and it's it's very rough seas and you I mean my recommendation is just not to to, to, uh, to swim on the north uh, side of the island at all but some people do it they think I don't know what they think and I don't know uh, you know unfortunately the tour companies or the tour guide I, I, I mean I wasn't there so I don't want to judge the, the folks there but right. yeah, it happens and that's mm. the, that's the thing also with the UTV and ATV vehicles a lot of accidents happen a lot mm-hmm. and uh, yeah those those are the things mostly to to be careful with um, but otherwise Nah, not really. Not much. Uh, most folks, like things we think are, are things for concern here. Oftentimes, mm-hmm. um, I guess someone coming from, say, New York or Boston or some large city, and they'd be like, that's nothing, Har. That's that's not a concern. We have a way worse than that. <laughs> yeah, right on, don't worry right about on. that. But I think you always, like, when I travel also to other countries, uh, I notice that if you ask at a hotel like could i walk to the downtown they would be like oh well, we don't know like they're, they're just trying to be careful because they don't want mm-hmm. anything to happen to you right so that's that's what it basically is yeah well that's that's really comforting uh comforting actually uh, i yeah. mean just your basic stuff it's not like you're going in and being like okay you know uh watch your back because you're probably going to get a gun in it type of thing or <laughs> no that's i mean <laughs> that's it, I, I cannot say it's it's never happened here but it's right. something that when those things happen it's like all of aruba stops like wow mm-hmm. that happened you know like but no Heck it's yeah. uh it's not a common uh, common thing not at all okay so, you guys have any other questions? Oh, I guess you do. <laughs> yeah, I got, I got one last question. Um, the, you said you have a family company, a tourism company. Do, do you guys offer, you know, any excursions through your company for Aruba, or is it all for Rubians to like different countries? So, 
that's the the family company we we offer more like um outbound um tourism not uh not inbound so we don't okay. r- don't do reservations or tours here and something like that uh, i through my channel have also set up a company and i am doing some some tours some private tours only private tours uh, occasionally walking tours and hiking tours and things like that but um, not uh, I, I don't promote it as often just because of what I mentioned about the time sometimes I don't yeah. my schedule is so full but at some point, point I do see myself doing it a little bit more yeah mm-hmm. okay. okay Trevor you got any questions yes. I've got one question um, I guess it, it, it would be since we're doing final questions um, I guess for our <laughs> listeners at home what is the best way for them to find your content so the best way is to go probably to my website, uh, www.letsgowithhyro. Hyro is H-Y-R-O dot com. And uh, from there, you will learn a little bit more about me and uh, some of the tours, some what I do, my background, and, and also links to um, not just my YouTube, but also the Instagram. I'm a little bit still, still trying with the Instagram. Not very happy with them, but... <laughs> Still trying to do it. We're in the same Because I do have some folks following on that side. Um, well, we'll get you some more, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, the Instagram is more of a short form, and you know your videos are very, very much long form. So yeah, correct, correct. Very good, okay, man. Well, I, I, well, that's awesome. Man. I don't know if they mentioned, but we're okay. traveling with a bunch of um, other YouTubers, and so we're kind of okay. That's great. Um, uh, kind of odd man out being you know podcasters and so well except yeah me. so um you know we well, we, all we three of us technically have we have youtubes YouTube but we don't take it very seriously <laughs> <laughs> or i don't anyways i they might i don't either i've got a hundred <laughs> followers for crying out loud but know? um but yeah uh, a, lot of, a lot of them uh that, that we're traveling to listen to the show so uh they may reach out may want to chit chat with you or let you know when they might be sure, in the island sure. so very sure. cool so it's so nice meeting you today no, it, it's it's definitely cool and and i often find that when you i mean even with the little experience you might have but you kind of understand each other where you know how much work it takes mm-hmm. to do mm-hmm. this yeah. yes and uh, the effort the the i say the discipline also to keep going that's that's mm-hmm. like you can some folks start and the Probably by the second week, they're like, oh, no. <laughs> no, <Nope. not> <laughs> <Nope. laughs> What did I get the, myself The filming into? is the easy part. Is, yeah. is putting it together and editing to make it make sense is the hard yeah. part. Mm-hmm. Exactly, exactly. And for the most part, I do, um, yeah, most of the work. Uh, I wouldn't put it in a percentage per se, but um, I do usually work alone some, like, when I, I went to, to Curacao also to film there uh, about a year and a half ago, and uh, they were surprised that I did just about everything myself, like the filming and the planning and everything. They were like, wow, you work alone? <laughs> and I'm like, well, I could use help, but it's... Yeah. Not, um, <laughs> It's not well, I tell you what, my bag for me. I mean, if you want to help. <laughs> when my daughter turns 18, I will move to Aruba and be on your uh, film crew team. There you go. <laughs> uh, you know, for at least the summers and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Now that, that my girlfriend is living here, so she was living in Holland, so now she moved uh, here. And um, mm-hmm. yeah, now it's, it's, uh, that's, uh, that's helping a little bit. Uh, but the editing is, is still mostly myself, and mm-hmm. yeah, that takes some sometimes the whole week. You're spending two or three hours yes. every night. And you're oh, like, yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Why doesn't this make sense? I understand that. This, yeah. this transition. <laughs> oh, I need something. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. But it's well, something that okay. I just really enjoy uh, doing, and you know, especially like. On topics of my own island, I mean, what what can be better than that? I mean, you know what you're talking right. about. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, it's it's a project of with passion and and love. I mean, if you don't have a passion for what you're doing, you're probably not going to continue doing it. So, yeah, and uh, we definitely like what you do, man. And and I hope that you gain just as many followers as we have 
onto your YouTube channel. There like, you I hope everybody comes over and checks you out, and I hope everybody follows you because you are awesome, and we really, really thank you for coming on the show, man. It's much appreciated. Thank you so much for the invitation uh, once again, and uh, yeah, pleasure to be here. And uh, who knows, maybe uh, we'll talk to each other in the in the future. Yes, <laughs> and one maybe. more time. Uh, yes. Yeah, <laughs> sure hope so, man. <laughs> great. It'd be great if we saw you in in, in Aruba. Let, let's try to do that. Yeah, that would be cool. Yeah, awesome. Thank you. All right. All right. Well, thank you so much for being here today. Thank, thank you, brother. Thank you very okay. much, sir. Yeah. That, you, that, this was great. Yeah. <laughs> it was really You good. did an amazing job, too, yeah. man. You did great. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> bye bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye bye. It feels yeah, like there's a time here. space in between all that, but there really wasn't. The way this is going to be edited. <laughs> this is all this sorts is of so bad. bad. Right so, anyways. So, mm. I, I heard that, uh, Reese, you had something uh, for this show. Well, yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd seen something on uh, our Facebook account, uh, in fact, about a, an investigation going on. Yeah. Oh, it yeah. Seemed, yeah. Yeah. So, that's... So, I was, I was about, nominated like, for Cruiser's Sexy Cruiser of the Year, and it's under investigation because yeah, there because was a big I Because somebody actually, actually saw your picture? <laughs> <laughs> because I should have won. I was second place, and I think I lost by one. Yeah, point. but it's the fact that I resemble Brad Pitt so much mm. <laughs> Then <laughs> I, I and I'm I, I'm really sorry. But. I mean, I've seen the pictures, and the wet T-shirt contest part was a little disturbing. I mean, seriously, how big are those nipples, I, bud? You know, hey, they. <laughs> it's perfectly fine to have twelve-inch nipples. Thank you very much. I, I don't know what you what to say, but I impress people on cruises. Is all I gotta say. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God>. uh, <laughs> we broke it. Tom. <laughs> Tom, do you need a hug? <laughs> He's dying. We killed him. Oh no. Everyone You've heard it here, everyone, clap. Are, oh. everyone clap. Everyone <laughs> clap. You'll bring him back to life. Everyone clap. That's how it works, right? <laughs> oh. Oh, we brought him back. Oh, everyone, you did it. Everyone <laughs> clapped, and he's getting better. Oh, that's so <clears throat> wonderful. Isn't that like the Peter Pan thing? I don't know. We saved it Tinkerbell. Is, it <laughs> is. Yeah, Tinkerbell. We saved Tinkerbell. Yeah, Tinkerbell that's, dies, that's, everyone's got to clap. Yeah. And, and that's uh, why we call you Tinkerbell. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a good job, Tink. So, so yeah. So when you see Thomas on the the cruise, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> Just start clapping. <laughs> you know that the damage has already been done, right? <laughs> I hate you all. <laughs> oh, everybody, First it was clap the your hand. in the dining room. Now you get no, 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 clap, clap no. Your hands. Clap. Clap your hands. Oh, man. That song's going to be playing. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Everybody yeah, <he's>... freeze. <laughs> yeah, Reese has no idea how often he's going to hear that song. Yeah, it's, <laughs> oh, believe me. I mean, I'll be dancing to it at least yes. third, three quarters Dude, of the or a, qu a quarter of the time. That's what I'm. Oh, we kind of went off on this a bit. Like, like you're asking about the whole investigation thing, and like we've, yeah. we've yeah. completely <laughs> derailed it. Um, but no, the derail boys are back yeah. again. So I just want to say <laughs> that I'm looking forward so much to your energy on this cruise because I always like. I always want to get out there and do the dancing and stuff, and I started doing it in my last few cruises, but like, I always feel silly because I'm like the only one in my group doing it. So, oh no, no I got you. Like, this is going to be fun. I mean, I, I at least dance to one, and then, you know, like I said before, I try to go to the club at least once a cruise. Yeah, no. Nah. And then, of course, I feel old with because I don't know the dance. Yeah, well, you know, you're over 30, so you shouldn't even be in that club, anyways. Yeah. So, <laughs> anyways. <laughs> Let's go to this uh, investigation thing. I literally know nothing about it, but let's go ahead and talk about it. 
But yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, you were mm-hmm. you were no, pre- no some, preparation. Yeah. The zero. You, you were supposed to do some some investigation because you you know you wanted to do a, a you know put this on your other podcast. No, I actually was thinking about doing a bonus episode for our show that's in the spirit of my other show. So um, there is some kind of a FBI investigation that's going on about a suspicious death on a carnival ship. I feel uh, like I should again preface that i know nothing about this um uh, besides youtubers videos that that don't really didn't really explain too much to me yeah so they just said that the that she was dropped off at in cosmo yeah and, and then from what i've read is like recently was that it sounds like it's it's less suspicious and more like something else natural More happened hype. but i don't know yeah. i honestly don't know that was a headline i read in passing the other day so <laughs> i don't know uh is my answer but maybe maybe we will know more here soon I'm so sorry, listeners. I got your hopes up. I thought they knew more than that. <laughs> uh, I should, but I don't. I'm sorry. <laughs> we both did, man, because we both knew the story before. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 But, you know, we've been so busy uh, getting these guests on the show. Like, we've been working so hard. All of us have been working hard. Equally hard. <laughs> All of us have been working and- very equally <laughs> hard on getting guests on the show. Where, where's your guest? Coming <laughs> next week. Actually. I mean, he has been removing plungers from yeah, various crevices. Day. That was a very um. <laughs> important thing I had to do. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> we didn't just record that and post it in the beginning of the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, it's a very real yeah, thing. Totally. So, um, but yeah, no, I've got my guests no. coming next week. Thank you very right. much. Right, this is first we've heard. Mm, about it. Yeah, well, I, uh, I don't think that and it, that that matters. It definitely won't be Trevor doing an accent. No, no, yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? It won't be Trevor <laughs> using his voice Aww. changer. Either. No, not that either. <laughs> um, no, definitely not. That that'd be crazy. Anyways. Yeah. But if I were to like so, leave the room and then the guest shows up, uh, that's just because uh, I had to use the bathroom. And then yeah, don't think anything don't think weird. Of it. Weird. <laughs> His guest and him are not in the room at the same time. <laughs> well, I, that that just that's a coincidence, you know. Like mm-hmm. <clears throat> Clark Gable's never in the same room with Superman, so. It- Extra, well, that, extra coincidental well, that well, you're going. Clark Gable has nothing to do with exactly. I hey, don't think does. he does. Okay, <laughs> Clark, Clark Kent does not. Not Clark Gable. Well, Clark who's Clark Gable Kent? Oh, that reporter. He's dumb. Anyways, Clark Gable's the actor guy. He's really suave. Uh, <laughs> he's definitely not Superman. Anyways, that's my theory. Um, so. <laughs> Jeez. I don't know where I'm going. I'm just where, in the where are we going? Where are we going? <laughs> where are we going here? I can keep the show going so, forever. I, it says 44 so, minutes on my end. I don't have clue how long it shows on y'all. 56 <laughs> minutes. Real, real quick, uh, Madison uh, posed a thing about uh, uh, she thinks that we should try out for this uh, singing and dancing thing, yes. and I was thinking. Not only should we do it, but we should we should go as an acapella group <sighs> called the Acapellicans, of course. Yes, of um, course. And and uh, we'll we'll uh, choreograph our dance moves. I think we should do um, at least one Billy Joel song. Um, we didn't start the fire. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> the piano man. Uh, that that might that might work. Um, you know. Uh, Anything really? I don't care what we do. I mean, we'll. we'll, 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 we'll oh, I know that's that, that's not Elton that's John, bro. Come <laughs> on. <laughs> Sorry, that was Elton John. I, I don't know where that came from. I don't know. And I think it's gonna be a long, long time. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's what we should do. Uh, so uh, let's get the 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 listeners to vote if they think that we should 
uh, uh, audition for this as an acapella uh, group. Yes, you do realize that that's an actual audition or or for, or, or a for carnival. Right? And we, if we get I mean, the job, hey, it would be if we get amazing. the gig. Take some. We'll take some time off work, yeah. and we'll still be working. Yeah, we I can mean, work from the ship. I could. I could uh, <laughs> help any plunger related accidents. <laughs> and obviously rock that hot hot bod of well, yours yeah. uh you know. <laughs> <laughs> speaking of my hot bod um i would just like to say <laughs> that I, and this is not a joke either so we're getting closer and closer to this cruise it is almost summertime i've got to get into hot guy summer mode and so i would like to take a moment to congratulate myself <laughs> in the most <laughs> the most public way possible, uh, I would like to give myself a high five, and I would like to say <laughs> that um, I have lost twenty one pounds in the last probably uh, two and a half months. So heck yeah, congratulations, brother! I have nice. I have been giving away these uh box food boxes as the prize um that i've been giving out to every because everyone still is is bugging me like hey hey i know who our first guest name <laughs> and so it was for and uh, the prize was a free box of factor and uh if you've never had factor before you can get a free box through them it's a pretty cool deal and I'm trying to get them as a sponsor. I've been using them, and that's how I've lost the 21 pounds. And I still got quite a ways to go. Uh, but I would like to show you guys how many free boxes of Factor, because I have been a loyal customer, uh, how many free boxes I have. <laughs> and You guys can't see this, but that's a lot. It's a lot of free boxes. And uh, so if you are a listener and you've never had Factor before, and you would like a free box of Factor, which is a $75 value, I will send you the code to get it. And uh, it's a very easy, get it in three easy steps. You sign up, they'll send you a free box to get you started. And I got to say, I've been doing their keto plan, and I haven't got bored of it yet. So it's been a good deal. And, yeah. and let Factor know that they need to be our sponsor. So <laughs> they really do, though. <laughs> I'm really pushing this hard. And like any sponsor of the yeah, any sponsor bring, bring on the sponsors. But you know, if you want to get in the hot guy bod mode uh, or hot girl summer or whatever you want to do, uh, there you go. That's a uh, factor is a dad great way to do it. Dad bod summer is what I'm going for. Yeah, dad bod summer. <laughs> Hashtag. Hashtag. Yeah. 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 So. <laughs> Anyways, I just thought I'd pitch it out there. I've also got some uh, factors really good about sending me some other things with my stuff. So I also got these things that are like wine vouchers for a box of wine. I thought about giving these to you, Reese. Um, Okay. And something called Good Chop, which is like some meat stuff. So, um, if you guys want anything. But, yeah. Pretty cool deal. But, I think that's yeah. all I've got. Do we have anything else we want to cover today? Well, I have um, a couple things I wanted to cover. Okay. Um, First off is a complaint from uh, uh, from John. Uh, uh, you got to use the button. Well, I can't move the damn thing for some reason. It won't. I don't have a slide bar. <laughs> Hold on, let me. God damn it! Stupid. He took the Freaking. Lord's name in vain. All this vulgarity. You know, it was really bad. I watch it with the wordy I'm, nerds. I'm, I'm a little. <laughs> I'm a little apprehensive of, you know, staying on this show. I th oh. <laughs> Wait, what did they say to John Hield? They'll maybe come over there and fight you. I'll fight you. Woo. This goes All on right. for like three minutes. <laughs> yeah, a minute and okay. a half. But anyway, 
So the first thing was uh, the you know off of John Hill's page, a family who can't get their their uh, children ready on time for main dining. They have seated dining, mm-hmm. and they have early dining at that. And they're complaining because the waiters were kind of upset with them because they showed up at 6.30 instead of at 6 because they can't get their children ready on time. And they said that, you know, Carnival should be apathetic to the fact that they have children. Well, have ch- a lot of the people on the cruise have children, and they, they managed to get their their children ready on time. I mean, if you were going to a restaurant and had to make a reservation, if you weren't there at the time, they're going to cancel your reservation. Yeah. Same thing. Oh, yeah. And Come on. And honestly, if you're so that if you late, yeah. just go to the buffet. Yeah. Or next time you go on a cruise, go to my time dining. Oh, your yeah, time yeah. Dining, That's a good point, you too. you won't have to worry about going there late. Because, I mean, they still got a whole other meal service to do in less than an hour if you go late mm-hmm. so having done the I mean, the the your time dining now I, I having done that now i i feel a little more comfortable with it uh, i had mostly the same waiter the wait staff and all that and it was really nice uh, there was one day i did not get the same wait staff and um it was not a big deal um, but I, I really liked the fact that I could, uh, um, uh, kind of catch some of the stuff, uh, at my own pace. So when I was ready for dinner, I went and had dinner. So it was nice. Yeah. Heck yeah. But. Okay. And then the, the other one is from a cruise group. Uh, that shall remain nameless. Uh-huh. It, so I don't have to play the daggum song again. But uh, a, a, a couple was mad at Carnival Security and Carnival itself because they couldn't um, pull up security video because apparently this gentleman's wife had left her purse right next to the, uh, to the main dining room and left to go to the bathroom. And it was stolen. Ooh. But one, why would you leave your purse unattended with all your valuables? That happens. I mean, people forget. But even then, I mean... I mean... It's not Carnival's fault, yeah, though. Yeah, it's not. Um, it sucks. There, There's probably a reason they're not pulling the footage. Uh, no, they said their cameras were down. Oh, really? Well, even then, that's yeah. even, you know, you you can't rely on Carnival uh, being the sole thing that keeps track of your stuff, also. Mm-hmm. So, um, I mean, I, and it sucks that someone's shitty enough to steal your things uh, while you're on vacation, because that's, that sucks. Because if you had your passport in there or something, man, that would just, well, yeah. that, but, that would mean, butter my buns. I mean... The same, I mean if if, if, if <laughs> really yeah butter my I'd butter my damn bun <laughs> oh lord i mean but, uh, but, okay so if megan was to was to bring her purse to the main dining room mm-hmm. she, and she had to use the restroom she would take it to to the bathroom with her or give your purse to first you first of all i would say why did you bring your damn purse you know we're not paying for anything what are you doing? And then she'd get mad at me because I would be pestering her. <laughs> and then we ended up in this fight. And then Tom would be stepping in and try to steal her from me. And then it's just a, a terrible I night what, all around. So I'm the be- I was the best man, so it was my job to step in when you screw up. Yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, she's gonna slap both of us. Yeah, you realize you know. that <laughs> the marriage stand-in. <laughs> he, he takes. Do you know your lines? He, he takes his his best man duties to the to the max. <laughs> he takes a very serious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, too funny. Anyways, anyway, well. 
I uh, I, I was really excited. Uh, next week, you know, we might have Mike and Mike on the show. Uh, the ESPN <laughs> guys. I'm not sure why we got them on the show, but uh, that's what Reese said. Um, what? So <laughs> that was an interesting conversation. That's what my phone yeah. said. Um, so we're we'll be excited to have them on the show. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Not sure what they do about cruising, but we'll talk about sports ball. <laughs> um, I don't know what else. Ew, no, I'll cut that out. <laughs> anyway, I think it's time we can we can end the show. Can't, is it? Oh my god! Uh, yeah, I, I think so. <laughs> so, because right now it's just a train wreck. Yeah. Um, if you'd like to know more about Carnival Cruising <laughs> Podcast Ways, why don't you hop on over to our Facebook page over Facebook dot com? Guess what? It's forward slash carnival cruising podcast always uh we have a group as well join it uh if you don't um well that's there's just no point that's where all yeah you gotta, you're a loser uh if you you know whatever uh you know and you know we didn't want you anyways so but we also have a facebook well i, I mean uh I, you already facebook, said the group we also have a web page amateur hour <laughs> we also have a web page cruising.blog and yeah um so definitely go there check it out uh got lots of cool stuff and the links to all those things that we just talked about uh if uh you didn't already know know that you're unique you're special and you are loved <laughs> and remember anything that happens on the ship stays on youtube Save Bye. the foosball tables, Tinkerbell. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> See ya. Really? Why? <laughs> uh, we're gonna get sued by Disney. Oh, <laughs> 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 oh <that's> so funny. <laughs> why? <laughs> I didn't know uh, besides laugh my ass off. 